Hi everyone, I'm Rachel. In today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to color a bioluminescent sea creature using the color therapy app. You can find this image under Animals, Stunning Jellyfish. I'll show you my rendition of a glowing jellyfish. But remember, you can also color any sea creature with bioluminescence too. All right, so let's start off with the base color. I'm using the first color from the deep blue palette on the top row. And I'm just gonna tap to fill everything in. All right, let's start off with the spray tool. Set the size at 100 and opacity at 50 and make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off. Now with black, let's just create a little vignette around the corners with black. So I'm just kind of making it darker on the edges. Now back in the deep blue palette, select the first color on the last row. Okay, so now with the airbrush tool, let's set the size at 35 and opacity at 50. And this time turn coloring inside the lines mode to on. Now zooming into the jelly, we're just gonna highlight all of the inside area so the top area of the head and, and all around the bottom of the head and then lower the size to eight and now trace all the tentacles on the inside now in the deep blue palette select the third color from the right on the top row and now let's set the opacity all the way up to 90 and we're going to trace the top part of the head of the jellyfish again so we're just adding nice glowing layers and then do the same thing to the tentacles, but let's just um, highlight just the left sides. Now in the deep blue palette, select the second to last color on the second row. And then on the tentacles, just now highlight the right side of all the tentacles. With that same blue, just add it into the top of the head. And we're gonna smear this, so don't worry about it being messy. In this area, I'm just kind of focusing on that middle part of the jellyfish brain. And just adding a little blue into those little circles too. Now select the second color on the second row. And let's go ahead and trace these little circles again. The little, the little brain of the jellyfish. And I'm gonna add that white also into the head a little bit. Just like kind of messily add it in. We'll just smear it soon. Now turn coloring inside the lines mode to off. So let's use the smear tool now. Set the intensity at 100 and the size at 65. So let's just gently blend in those colors in the head or the brain part. If you need to turn coloring inside the lines mo mode back to on, you can for certain areas. I'm just blending it down. And then the bottom part of the head, I'm just kind of blending upward softly and gently and then just lower the smear tool to size 20 and with coloring inside the lines mode to on just gently blend and smear the tentacles it's really making it nice and soft and then when you get to the areas where the tentacles aren't connected because of the lines just turn the coloring inside the lines mode to off you can gently smear those lines so that they connect now let's add in our own little tentacles. So select the pen tool now. Set the size at one and opacity at 65. Now with that same light blue, let's draw in some tentacles. So make sure coloring inside the lines mode is off. I'm just gonna draw some really long and wiggly lines just coming from the head of the jelly and just all the way down. Just large curvy lines. And then with that bright blue we had before, the second color on from the right on the second row, do the same thing. Just add in a few more little tentacles. I'm just doing these ones kind of short from the top of the head all the way around the head. Now I'm gonna add a little pink to it as well. So from the coral palette, I'm just gonna use the first color and then I'm using the spray tool and just lower the size to about 45 and opacity at 50. Just spray a little bit into the head, just a tiny bit. And with coloring inside the lines mode to on, spray it into the very top of the tentacles near the head as well. Just to add a nice little pink glow. Back in the deep blue palette, let's use the third color from the right that we had before. And with the airbrush tool, set the size to 14 and opacity at 50. Let's turn coloring inside the lines mode to off. And then with all the tentacles that we just made, let's add a nice little diffused glow around them. So I'm just tracing them all the way down. So it just kind of softens them. Back with the smear tool, you can use the same settings and just gently blend in that pink and blue into the head of the jelly. So it's really smooth. Now let's add some little detailed dots. So with the pen tool, let's set the size between one and 2% and the opacity at 45. And with that same really light blue we had before for the tentacles, let's add little dots. So I'm just adding it into all of the areas underneath the head of the jelly at the bottom. Just kind of letting those dots come up. And 
I'm gonna raise the size to two here and there and just so I can mix it up and have bigger dots. So I'm kind of just tracing that bottom part of the jellyfish head. You can also bring them all the way up in little lines coming down through the brain. Do the same thing on the other side of the head, that outer part, adding little dots everywhere. You can raise the size to two and have some bigger ones and just tracing that inner part. And I'm also gonna add some little dots in the same way coming down off of those wider tentacles we drew ourselves to. And lastly, let's just add a little bit of a blue glow around the whole thing. So let's use that really bright blue we had before. And with the spray tool, set the size at 100. And opacity can be at 45. I'm just gonna spray all the way around the jelly just to brighten it up. To finish, tap to fill in the little particles around the jellyfish, and you can also add some of your own. You can try other colors like oranges, purples, or bright pink as well. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.